All right, my next project is going to be another computer build. This is my main computer I use in my home office. I built this, or got this case oh, about six years ago, and it's gone through two builds already. And I'm going to be doing another one here, get ready for Windows 7, 64-bit ultimate, new motherboard, processor, memory. But uh, the one I'm getting is going to be able to use or has the ability to use all the existing hard drives, which I've got a total of uh, six, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six hard drives, two disk drives, and I'll still be able to use all of them, but uh, I'm just going to replace the motherboard processor and memory. And get that glare off there. So I'm going to start taking this apart here pretty soon. And, uh, Get ready for my upgrade. All right, this is an update. My parts have arrived for my computer rebuild. This is the Asus P7P55D-ELX. This is a, a pretty stout board. I kind of went with this one for the main reason that I have about six hard drives in my system currently along with uh, two disk drives and I won't be losing any of them. Uh, this board allows me to keep them all and I'm switching up from uh, 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 dual core up to a i5 core which is from basically going from a LGA775 to a LGA1156 this is the cooler that I bought. It is a spin Q from Thermaltake. Uh, it's a pretty sweet looking uh, setup. It basically looks a lot like a uh, like a turbine or like a yeah basically it's like a turbine. It's the best way to describe it. But uh, this thing is pretty much uh, stainless steel and uh, really sharp looking. I'll have to get uh, take a look at it when it's on the board and uh, as well I got Kingston DDR3 uh, 4 gigs of memory basically 2 by 2 gigs and I'm probably going to bump that up to 8 gigs eventually uh, but for right now this is good enough because I'll be running Windows 7 64 bit ultimate edition but this is the motherboard uh, basically it can handle up to 16 gigs of uh, memory and main reason again that I kept or I got this one, it has six SATA along with two 3.0 SATA connections and also has one PATA connection or IDE for my two remaining IDE hard drives. So again, four SATA hard drives, two IDE hard drives, and two DVD burners. And I'm able to use, I'm also going to keep my ATI uh, All in Wonder X1900. Um, it's a, I've had that card for a couple of years. I really like it and I was not really prepared to let it go yet. So I'll be using it for now. Uh, I don't really do a lot of major gaming or anything, but I do a lot of video editing and that's been a real good board or video card for me there. So uh, basically just replacing what I got and moving up to something that's uh, Windows 7 ready and able to handle a lot more memory than my previous board so I'll show you to you once we get it in alright here's my case I've already got the old board out and the new parts are in standby but just get to give you an idea this thing is full of lights and cables I'm gonna be rerouting all this stuff once I get the new board in and a big 120 millimeter fan on the side for blowing towards the processor and that I've modded and then another 120 millimeter uh, chimney fan. I'm using a Rosewill 1000 watt power supply. I actually put that in a couple months ago and of course I've got about six hard drives. The operating system drive is right there. It's a Samsung uh, 500 gig. Uh, then I've got three other, uh, two other 500 gig and a 750 and then two 
IDE 151 or 1500, 1750. And also got in here is my, uh, this is my All in Wonder card. And it's an X1900 ATI All in Wonder PCI Express 16X. So uh, that's what I'll be using. I could get something better, but this one works fine, and I do a lot of video editing, so uh, we'll keep you informed. All right, my light show, as I like to call my case, is back up and running. It was delayed a couple weeks due to a bad motherboard. The original motherboard was uh, sent back RMA'd to Newegg. It just would not boot up or anything, but... Uh, it is up. The motherboard has since been replaced and uh, got everything installed. All my UV lights and everything is running real good. Just busy loading software and uh, programs and stuff that I've had, which will probably take me a couple days because I had lots of lots of stuff on here. But yeah, I bumped up the memory. Uh, I've got a total of eight gigs, two gigs per stick. And the max that this motherboard will hold is 16, so I'm just, uh, you yeah, know, basically using half of its ability, but that's pretty much all I need, so. I love this new CPU cooler. This thing is really sharp. Um, problem, the only problem I had was the 120 millimeter fan that I modded to put on the inside won't fit because of the size of the CPU. Uh, uh, cooling fan there so it had to basically come on the outside of the case in order to fit and blow in like that so only real issue I had but other than that um, yeah, this thing's running smooth getting used to Windows 7 64 bit ultimate edition and uh, my six hard drives and again just reloading software so yep I'm glad this is back and one thing I've done a little differently on my rebuild, I've added dual monitors. I just cleaned off a bunch of files off my desk and went to uh, two monitors. I had two of them already. They're both 22 inch. Uh, this Dell was in my front office and I just pulled it and put a uh, 19 inch in place of it. So yeah, I've got two, two 22 inch monitors. I'm actually liking this so I can spread my uh, windows open a little bit more. So, and my, my ATI All I Wonder X1900 video card supported dual monitors, just never used it. So, yeah, I could get used to this real quick. So, yep, that's it. Thanks for watching.